Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today we've got a short video about a mouth pad. And honestly, I was thinking, should I make this video at all or not? But then I decided, well, you know, if it's gonna be helpful for at least someone, I'm just gonna make it. So I had this little tiny mouse pad for so long. And as you can see, it became pretty ugly. It's wore out, it's peeling off. And by the way, it's so small, but that's not the main case why I have decided to actually swap it. The main reason because it was actually sliding more than the mouse. So I have decided to upgrade it for something else. I didn't want to get like an Excel mat, but something that's a little bit bigger and that's not slippery. So I have decided to try this Hater Tone S Gaming mouse pad. This is a S size, which is small, but indeed it's not very small, as you can see, compared to my original one, it's actually, it's actually pretty large. But anyway, just gonna give my thoughts what I think about it. Yeah, the texture feels pretty good on the top and it's yellow rubber on the bottom, so it is very bright as you can see. But the main thing is it actually sticks to the surface of the table very good. And when you put it on a desk and when you try to slide the mouse, it's not moving the mat. That's what it's supposed to be. But with this old one, that's what I had the problem with. When I was sliding the mouse, it was actually moving the pad itself. And this is not good because, well, then you don't get precise control. And since I'm doing video editing and photo editing, I need to have some precise movement. So let's see what it says here. It's an optimized material, improved tracking performance, transportable and versatile design, high control at maximum speed, enhanced materials compound ensures liquid resistant, non-slip grip on natural rubber and the size is 240 by 290 by 3 millimeter. You can also find some mouse pads that are 4 millimeters. I haven't really tried the 4 millimeter but I think 3 millimeter is just enough to keep your hands pretty comfortable on the hard desk. And what else can I say here? So yeah you can see that there are some different sizes you can get. You can get the small, medium, large and extra large but that is like uh, if you want to have like almost the full desk covered with a pad with a mouse pad the large sides i think it would be good if you want to put your keyboard on as well that's if you have a desktop for me i have the laptop so it's not necessary but if you have the desktop you might want to get like a large or extra large this way it's going to cover the whole desk it's going to give you some soft surface to rest your hands on instead of resting it on the hard desk so this will protect it but for me, because I'm using a laptop, I couldn't use the large one or the extra large, so I had to stick with the small. I could get the medium one, but the medium one is actually too big for me, so I decided to go with just the small one. But anyway, it actually works really good. It's got a clear edge. The texture is very nice, actually. I, I really like it. And on the other side, it's so yellow. Like, you can feel it's really rubber, so it's not gonna slide on the desk, which is what I wanted. And this side is all fabric and it's nice and smooth so the mouse should move pretty smoothly and I like that it's all black with no printing and there's just a little bit of uh, name here in the upper right corner there's no stitching on the side so it's, it will be a little bit easier on your hand if you slide over the edge you're not gonna touch the stitching but I don't know if it's gonna be durable some people say that without good stitching they start to peel but I don't know we'll see like as you can see this one here there is no stitching and I've, I've been using this for so long and it's still not peeling for some reason this rubber just started to be very smooth and it's moving on the desk but this one is supposed to be good let's go ahead and try it out so there we go as you can see this mouse pad is a little bit larger than my old one it's gonna be more comfortable area to work and the main reason why I decided to upgrade it because as you can see if I put it on this one when I move the mouse it's moving with the mouse pad as you can see which is really no good because I cannot work like this when I'm trying to move somewhere it moves with the mouse pad this one on the other hand as you can see it ain't moving anywhere really good the surface is a little bit I would say grippier on this side of, of the fabric than on my old one like this one's more smooth but this one's more grippier and the mouse doesn't move 
as easy. But yeah, anyway, this is it, guys. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you like it, please support with your like, subscribe to the channels for more interesting, helpful videos. And if you have any comments, questions, drop them down in the comment section below. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.